standing here with Josiah, aka Jojo Phillips. Yes, sir. I gotta start with it there, actually. I said I was gonna ask a whole bunch of football questions, but I gotta start <laughs> with Jojo, where the nickname comes from. Does uh, anybody in your life call you Josiah? Uh, my family calls me Josiah. Like my mom, my grandmother, like my aunties, and everything. They really call me Josiah. Whenever my mom's mad at me or anything, she call me Josiah for sure. I was gonna say, but, is it like legit Josiah, or yeah. like when you're mad, she uses your whole name. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> she she legit uses Josiah a lot, and, and but like outside of that, everyone just knows me by Jojo really Jojo. yeah For sure. well Jojo I think everybody around Provo is calling you a touchdown scorer too your first two touchdowns in a BYU uniform go for your first two catches in a BYU uniform excuse me go for touchdowns yes, you know what I'm trying to say here yeah what what is it just about kind of your ability I guess to find the end zone that's been working for you so young into your college career uh, I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even sure I can't even explain it I guess just I just say just meditating on it and just putting it into, just speaking things into existence. I would say really, I spoke both of my, really spoke my first touchdown to existence and the second one. I'll just say that really yeah. just, well, that's basically. The one, the one that you had Saturday against Southern Illinois, Jake was telling us uh, just the other day that he had a lot of adrenaline, a lot of extra zip on that ball because he was yeah. just amped up, hyped up. <laughs> it was still early in the game. Did yeah. you feel that as well? Kind of walk me through, I guess, uh, uh, what you remember from that play. Yeah, so as soon as coach put me in, I just knew, like, the play call and everything. I was just, like, ready to just juiced up to go run past the corner. And I know Jake, he, he's going to find me, obviously, like, from open, especially on the deep ball. So I just juiced up about it, like, same thing like Jake said, basically. This obviously is your first year in the program. You redshirted last year and, mm -hmm. and got a couple of games under your belt. How big were those four games, three games? I think it's three games. Yeah. In fact, how big were those three games to kind of get your feet wet and, and get you used to D1 football? Uh, it was good just being able to get into the game and just feel like the pace of the game and just the uh, physicality of the game and just see like how everything was moving and everything. It was really good. So carrying into this season, it was just like, wasn't anything different to me. It's just still football. Just going in there, you still playing football. It's no, no other thing different than youth football, high school. Just the game is faster and the people are bigger and stronger. You're not the only freshman or redshirt freshman, I guess, whose yeah. name appeared on the 2D. If I talked with uh, mm -hmm. one of your compatriots, Cody Hagen, a little bit about yeah. this, so I'll ask you kind of the same question. Okay. What, 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 what kind of went through your mind when you saw your name pop up on the, the first 2D de depth chart? Or do you remember kind of where you were when you saw it? Who told you, or maybe what I, your first phone call was after that? Uh, I didn't really see it. I, I, I didn't really know like it was a depth chart that came out or anything. So, yeah, I was, like I didn't really see it. So there wasn't a moment yeah. of like texting your mom or dad like, "Hey, I made no. it, guys." No, nah, it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it, it really wasn't anything. Like I didn't even know like they put out the dev chart or anything on social media. So just, just all business. Yeah. <laughs> just all business. Yes. Is that a little bit what this what this off season has been like for you? Cause, yeah. Cause we just, saw you in the spring and the summer. You've been mm -hmm. very business like in all ways. Yeah, it's just been business. Just trying to get it together, be the best teammate I could be, be the best player on the field whenever my name gets called, and just perfected my craft basically that's all it was this summer and getting bigger and stronger because I put on a lot of weight and mass this uh, winter spring and summer and everything so sure. two questions and then I'll let you go because I got to ask about uh, that touchdown in front of a packed LES a pack Lavelle Edwards Stadium the crowd goes wild yeah. <laughs> I saw a big smile on your face when you finish up what was that moment like to hear the crowd roar and kind of? I heard, I even heard a couple of people chanting your name, Joe. Yeah, Joe, 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 a little bit. <laughs> what was that even. moment like? Uh, it was just great because my first touchdown also was in front of Rock. So to get another one in front of Rock is crazy. They always bring the energy. They're always loud. So it was just great just scoring in front of our student section and everything. So. Are you guys ready to take that same show on the road down to SMU to Dallas? And what do you know? What's kind of in your early scouting report? What stands out the most about the stands? Uh, they're a pretty good team and everything. They're a real prepared team. Been watching just dialing in on the film and everything. So I just feel like if we go down and just build on what we did last week and just keep getting better and better, we're going to be a good week for us.